Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. Here is my late card, notice the sentiment, <laughs> for this week's Color Throwdown Challenge, which I will have the graphic with the colors and all the info on my blog, linked directly below the video. So I am starting with the brand new Sweet Sloths stamp set, which, yeah, I don't even have words for how adorable this set is. So I inked up the main or the largest little sloth image with my favorite things, black licorice hybrid ink. This is a Copic friendly ink. And I stamped um, that image along with the little clouds onto some Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. And then I'm coloring it in with my Copics. I sped this up and I had to edit some of it out. Apologies. Um, my camera kept trying to focus on the marker and my hands. So it just so blurry. I didn't even notice it, of course, until I go to edit. So I just deleted that from this video because there's no point. Like, you can't even see what I'm doing. But I didn't do anything special. I just went from darkest to lightest. I did list all the colors I used. I will have that little image on my blog and it just lists, um, yeah, the different Copic colors. I used cool grays for the sloth. And then for the branch, I used brown, of course. I just used E27, E25, and E23. For the leaves, I used G14, YG25, and YG23. The flowers were Y09 and 04. And then the clouds, I just quickly went and added a little bit of BG quadruple zero, just to give it a little something something. And then I die cut those all with the coordinating die set. I was talking about this in the last video when I showed all these products from this latest release. I love how this die cuts out not only the sloth, but the interior areas where, you know, he's hanging. Love that. Love it. So I did that and then I've got a piece of, I think it is, is it gravel gray or cement gray? Cement gray cardstock that I die cut with the largest die from the Blueprints 1 set. And then I used the new stitched rounded rectangle frames with some orange fizz cardstock because the color challenge was like orange and aqua and I forget the other color. Oy. Anyway, it's on my blog. <laughs> For the background though with the gray cardstock, I pulled out the new um, diagonal chevron background and I was inking it up with gravel gray ink and then I just used a dry baby wipe and kind of dabbed it here and there and then I also only pressed the cardstock in certain areas. I didn't want it stamped perfectly. I just kind of wanted the texture and the look of it. So I did that so then I've got this kind of rough, textury, fun chevron background. And then I'd cut down some snow cone cardstock to just slightly smaller than this frame here. And the snow cone cardstock I adhered directly to the background. And then the frame, I cut some foam tape in half and then applied that to the back of this frame. And it just was luck. I actually cut like the perfect amount. I love when that happens, you know, just the right amount of foam tape. There was literally like the teeniest little bit left over. Anyway, it, it's little things like that that just make my day. <laughs> so I did that, peeled off the backing, and then I've got that frame popped up for some dimension. And then I ran just some sour apple cardstock through with the wild greenery dynamics. And I cut a few sets of these fun little leaves. And this is where the multimedia matte adhesive with that fine tip applicator is perfect. Because I was able to apply the adhesive. I just applied the adhesive more to like the center area of these and then left the rest to kind of pop up and give it a little bit more dimension. But I created a little cluster of these leaves and then for this little sloth guy I used a bit of foam tape just on his body and then I put a bit of the multimedia mat on either end. So it looks like he's kind of suspended there um, within this frame and all these leaves. So once I've got all of that applied I'm going to adhere those little clouds that I'd colored and die cut. So I popped a couple on the frame and then popped one onto the background. And then um, this is where I decided to add a little bit of detail. And same thing, I had to kind of edit a bit of this out because see, it just keeps trying to focus on my hand. But I'm using some Copic Opaque White and a really fine paintbrush as a size two brush. And I just painted on some detail into the sloth because you know, they're really spiny, almost like the way their fur looks. If you Google an image of a sloth and just how their fur, it doesn't look soft. It's got that, I can't describe it. So I thought to kind of bring that in a little bit, I painted on just some light little strokes with the Copic Opaque White. And then while I was at it, I added little white dots to the flowers and then a couple lines of the leaves just to tie it all in together. But I love how it just gave the sloth more, more dimension, you know, painting on all those fun little lines. It just made it look a little extra cute, I think. So I did that. And then the sentiment I stamped just onto a scrap of white cardstock with that um, same gravel gray ink and then I just used my scissors and trimmed either edge on an angle just to give it a little something and then decided to kind of nestle that into that little cluster of leaves there. 
So covered that with some more um, multimedia matte adhesive. I use I get asked a lot like why I choose which adhesive. It's convenience. Like I use the multimedia matte for just about everything. That and foam tape this time, just because it was sitting right in front of me. And if you could see the rest of my desk right now, it's an absolute mess. So did that. And then on the inside of my card was just some heavyweight white cardstock. I stamped one of the other sloths from the set with that gravel gray ink. And then I stamped the sentiment with the same black licorice hybrid ink. And then I inked up the clouds with some snow cone ink and just stamped those along the top just to give it a little extra something. And then I adhered my card front that I had created just with some ATG adhesive. I didn't want to use the multimedia matte for this because that's a large piece. And I just find that's a lot of adhesive to use for that. I like using the matte adhesive for small items. So I adhered that to my card front and that finished off this fun little card. So I will have a link below the video to my blog post. There will be links to all the supplies used, a link to the color challenge. You should check it out. It's always a great way to get some inspiration and kind of break out of the box and all that fun stuff. So all that info will be in the description box below. And then I have links here to my last two videos using MFT stuff, the release, and then this fun pure innocence video. So check those out if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all soon in another video. Bye.